we just tied the rocket bike for the world's fastest ever electric vehicle in the quarter mile. Amazing. 20137. Nobody is doing that fast out here. We just broke our own record too, but tied up for Larry McBride. We're gonna get you on the ET next, my friend. <laughs> awesome! Yeah! There you go, man. That's it. It's about the math, the physics, and the science of speed. Yeah! Nicely done, sir. Thank you, brother. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Good job. There you go. Now nobody's gone faster than us. Only one of the guys gone the exact same Great speed. speed. That's uh, Larry McBride, and boy, being in the company of Larry McBride's not a bad place to be. I'll tell you what, uh, you know, we bumped, went up a little bit in the air pressure. Uh, uh, I did a little shorter burnout, trying to get a little bit more wheel speed. This track may have been too sticky. Uh, we'll talk about that later. But, um, yeah, man, uh, we did it. It's a, it's a lot of work. And where we are right now with this particular vehicle uh, is that we're discovering new ways to tune up electric motors. It may not sound real intuitive, but, and quite frankly, it's not, but you can tune an electric motor, particularly when we're using multiple motors. We, we have four of them in this vehicle, and sometimes they don't want to all work exactly the same. No two internal combustion engines work exactly the same. In fact, no two cylinders of a V8 engine produce the exact same amount of horsepower. So you have to find little ways to trick them. And it's all about math, physics, and the science of speed.